real bra and I'm cut. This new buddy got a yachty. Ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. <laughs> there he is. Ah! <laughs> able to reschedule my surgery for October 1st ah, I'm so freaking happy this is like so overdue because one this was to be done in April two supposed to be done in May three supposed to be done in June four supposed to be born, done in August and now it's finally being done ah, I'm so happy y'all my passport comes in a couple days my passport is supposed to come September 7th today is September 7th 2020 i leave september 29th so that is literally like around the corner like it's gonna be here in no time so i'm really freaking excited y'all know my stuff has already been packed everything is pretty much done i'll be just waiting for this passport to hit and how does she just hit girl I already told y'all this like 13 times. Y'all will be coming with me through the whole journey, through the airport, for passport, getting here, y'all. Ah, y'all already been here with me through this whole journey, through me struggling, um, waiting for my passport. I'm just mad excited, y'all. So we on, we on. It's up from here. It's up from here. I'm on my way to the airport. Your girl finna be a thick ass bitch when she get back. Period. New, new booty, new titties. <laughs> Nobody can tell me shit. I mean, nobody can tell me shit anyways, but y'all, I'm so excited. I'm a little anxious. I woke up with like my heart in my ass. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to think as positive as possible because I know shit gonna go well. I'm healthy, I'm young, and it's just up from here. Um, I wrote down a little prayer to say before I go under. Which I'll probably read to y'all, not all of it, but I'll probably read some of it to y'all. But I'm so excited for this new journey, y'all. Like, ah! <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way to the airport. Uh, we'll get back to you all when I am there and check in. Hey guys, I just got through TSA and I'm about to board. So my flight boards at 10:25. So I'm gonna grab some food while I wait because I'm starving. I need anything. Last thing I ate was like last night, which was Pizza Hut, but not ate like two slices. But um, I'm gonna go find some food because I definitely need to eat. Just don't know what I'm gonna get right now. So I'm gonna look around and see. So I 
I've made it to the recovery house. Um, I just got finished eating. The food was mad good. Um, I really love it here. It's so freaking cute and elegant and modern. And it's literally everything. The nurses greeted me with so much like hospitality and I love you y'all. I feel like I'm gonna be really comfortable until it's time for me to go. And I just came from my labs as well. I got labs, I got blood work, and they did x-rays and everything like that for me. I just been thinking about the pain. I'm a lot, I'm very, 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 very anxious. I have surgery in two days. Today is the 29th. I go in on the first, so in two days I will be going under. But yeah, y'all, I am so excited. Um, I haven't got put into my room yet. My bags are still over there. Or whatever. I will definitely give y'all a tour because y'all, this place is so freaking fire. I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. I haven't went anywhere else, but. There's me, but it's so freaking cute in here. I love it. Ah, it's so freaking adorable. I'm waiting to um, get put into my room. Because I'm very, very, very tired. I want to take a nap. Oh, and I have a test that I have to do for school. So um, I need to be getting to that soon. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. So here's breakfast. Girl, breakfast in bed is the best. But I'm not going to take too much because my roommates are asleep and I'm mad hungry. After I eat, I'm going to probably go downstairs and do some homework because. I have surgery tomorrow. I have surgery tomorrow and I know I'm going to be like out of it. So I'm not going to be able to do any homework tomorrow. So I'm going to get that done today. So um, I'm about to eat this food. This food is bomb. Last night I went to sleep starving because I ordered Uber Eats and the streets in DR are like really, really, really confusing. So the Uber driver got lost. He didn't know where to bring the food, so he canceled my order. And I went to sleep starving, but one of my roommates gave me a snack on while um, I waited. I did bring snacks, but the snacks was gonna hold it off for me. So I'm just like, I'm not even gonna eat it, but she wanted to give me a sneaker and you know you're not sure you're hungry, so <laughs> I ate the sticker. But yeah, I'm about to eat and I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna be here for a while. Today is October, no, October. Tomorrow's October 1st, which is the day of my surgery. I got here yesterday, September 29th, and I will be leaving October 12th. If I get the okay to go home sooner, I definitely probably will. But then again, I'm probably like, I don't know if I want to because here they really take good care of you. And if I go home like sooner, I'm gonna be down to take care of myself my mayor definitely helped me but i ain't gonna be that much of a help as much as these nurses are whenever y'all get in the car to go to your destination y'all need to fuck up because they drive mad crazy out here like they just be driving they just drive they park on any side they just be driving and it's mad traffic so make sure y'all put your seatbelts on because y'all are in for a real awakening baby <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. That's the entrance, and then as soon as you walk through, you'll get here to the elevator. And then it's like a big directory. This is the directory. Like, as soon as you come in, you'll know where to go because it's like words everywhere. They literally direct you on where to go. Um, I have to just go to the cardiologist. I'm not sure what else I have to do. I'm pretty sure they'll direct me on where to go and what to do. In the elevator I go. I just got finished talking to my doctor's assistant and I just got finished getting tested with cardiology. Turns out I have sickle cell. Well, she said that I had positive for sickle cell, but I know that my father has sickle cell and I know that when I was born I had sickle cell trait. That's probably why it's staying positive, but I want to get more lives because I'm not trying to go and do nothing crazy if I have something, especially if I didn't know that I had it. So I'm assuming that that's what that is, but um, I spoke with the nurse's assistant, I mean my doctor's assistant, and she told me she's gonna get that checked out again. Because no sis, no. Right now I'm just waiting for the results. 
from Cardiology and I just got my Bobby pillow delivered to me. This is what I'm gonna be sitting on and sleeping on because I'm getting a breast lift. So you know how some girls be getting um, BBLs and they just lay on their stomach? I can't because my titties gonna be done. I ain't trying to squish them. I'm gonna be sitting on this. In the DR, they are fine with you sitting in your butt, um, but in America, they're not. So um, I know a lot of girls who went to DR, especially the girls that I'm um, rooming with right now, they've been sitting on their butt and nothing's wrong with them. I know a lot of dolls who go out of the country and they sit on their butt, so. I'm not worried about that either. I'm just a little nervous about the sickle cell thing, but I'm trying to be as positive as possible. I've been staying very, 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 very positive. As of now, I'm just waiting for my results from cardiology and then I'm gonna go pay. Y'all, it's getting it's close, it's getting close, it's getting close. There's nobody got a yachty, ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. <laughs> there he is. Ah! <laughs> So I've made it to the oxygen chamber, y'all all the continents, but it's whatever. And I'm about to just use the bathroom and we're going in. I heard that if you're like really claustrophobic, then this isn't something really good for you because you're gonna be trapped literally inside of a chamber filled with oxygen though. So I don't know if like when you're claustrophobic, you're losing out oxygen. I don't know, but I know a lot of people on my surgical Instagram who said that they are very claustrophobic so they couldn't stay in there for too long. So if you're claustrophobic, this may not be the best idea for you, but I mean, it's really beneficial. So I'm gonna run to the bathroom and then we're gonna get started with the treatment. In a little time, uh, the pain is gonna, gonna disappear. It's no. bad. It hurts a lot. It's five minutes. Mm, it hurts so much. house I want to go get some food I bought some steaks and rice and some mandulos this food is so good y'all it is mad authentic period I want, definitely wanted to get some Dominican food while I was in the Dominican Republic but y'all tomorrow is the day I got surgery in a couple of hours so many freaky emotions running through my body right now. Anxious, excited, uh, more so excited than anxious. Am I prepared for the pain? I don't know, cause I, I don't want to underestimate the pain, but I did, I do expect to be in the most pain possible. So, I have to pack my overnight bag because I will be staying at the medical facility for 24 hours after my surgery. So, got a plan for that and also have to show you guys what I packed for my surgery. I did do a BBL video, like a packing list, so I don't know if I will show you guys what I brought with me because I pretty much brought everything that I packed in that video. <laughs> but yeah, so I have an appointment at Ford and now time now is 2.09. I gotta go to that um hyperbaric oxygen chamber. I'm so tired. I can't wait to go to bed and finally wake up and get surgery. Yeah. 
But yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna pack my overnight bag. So I guess I will end this video here. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get my surgery. I am so excited and I can't wait to freaking lay on that table and come out and snatch y'all. So, ah. so I'm gonna make this the end of the video. Don't forget to like and comment on the video and subscribe to your girl. Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials so you guys can see when I finally reveal my body. All my socials are always linked down in the description and make sure you ring, smash, and slam on that notification bell so you can get notified each time that I post. Stay tuned for the new body yaddy yaddy and don't forget to like and comment on the video. You guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for this journey because I'm going to be real raw and I need some tired things. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Bye.